Welcome to part 4 of the shed build. In this video I will begin installing the metal. So the first step is to install the rat guard. I chose to install my rat guard so the flange the metal sits on is even with top of the floor. I put all the sheets I needed for one side onto a stack. Each piece of metal covers 3 foot, so for this 21 foot wall I needed a total of 7 pieces. In the flat beside each rib I marked up 1 inch from the bottom plus the center of each purlin. I made sure all the pieces were even on the bottom, clamped them together so they wouldn't slide and pre-drilled my screw locations a half inch away from the rib with a 1 8 inch steel bit. Installing the metal is pretty simple. I started with a full piece, made sure it was set and square on the rat guard flange and put one of my bottom screws in first. Checked for level and I installed the rest of the screws in the pre-drilled hole. The next piece is pretty much the same way, just overlap it onto the first piece, put my bottom screw in first and then put the rest of the screws in double checking each piece for level as I install it. Installing my garage door trim, I removed all the screws in the first joist in the door opening. Then I used my chainsaw and shaved about a 1 inch to a quarter inch slope. I did this so that when I installed my trim, it would be sloped away from the garage door to prevent water from running back underneath the door. Then I reinstalled the screws into the first joist. I had my metal company bend an inch and a half by seven inch piece of white metal for the bottom and an inch and a half and four and a half inch pieces for the sides and the top. The reason the bottom is wider is so the garage door seal sits on the metal instead of on the wood floor. I nailed this in place using white stainless steel trim nails. Next I installed my rat guard, keeping it an eighth inch back from the edge of the garage door opening. I then installed my J-channel around the garage door opening. I slid it over top of the rat guard, keeping it even with the bottom, and then also kept it even with the inside of the garage door opening. I slid my top piece of J-channel into place and I was ready to install metal. After I got the three sides on, I was ready to start on the roof. First step was to install the drip edge, which I had my metal company bend at a custom angle for a steep roof. I then installed my bubble wrap vapor barrier, which my local metal supplier carries. This particular brand I'm using is called R-Foil. I'll put the link in the description to the company's website.
Next, I started on my roof metal, installing the lower section first. I hung it an inch and a half over the drip edge, and I made sure the ribs were lined up with the sidewall metal. After I got the lower section of metal put on, I put solid foam closures along the top. And then installed my brake trim, which is basically a drip edge bent at a different angle. I installed the top section, also hanging it an inch and a half over the brake trim and making sure my ribs line up with the lower section. Once the top section is screwed down, at this time I also put a screw in the brake trim through the foam closure on each rib. To learn more about how I install a metal roof, click the link in the description to watch the video series I did on the metal house roof install. Lastly, I installed the corner trim. I chose to go with the 3.5 inch residential corner instead of the standard 5.5 inch corner for this shed. That wraps up the metal for this end of the shed. In the next video, I will tackle the porch and the other gable end.